It's unbelievable Vasil Lomachenko tore his shoulder against Jorge Liners and continued fighting for another eight rounds. Mohamed Salah got a bruise on his shoulder and went off in the biggest game of his life. That's no disrespect to Salah, he's been the best player in the world this year. He should win the Ballon d'Or. But ultimately, when you're going into the biggest game of your life the only way you should be coming off that pitch is on a stretcher. Strap it up, stick a needle in it, some painkillers, do whatever needs to be done, because if Salah stays on that pitch Liverpool have a 25% more chance of winning that game. They were on the front foot at the start of the game, they looked like they were going to win it. For being such a fantastic team, when Salah went off they didn't look like one. They were guys who didn't know what their roles were, or what they were doing. When Salah was on the pitch they looked threatening. Sterling is being targeted. It is a disgrace, what the press are trying to do to Raheem Sterling. I feel sorry for the poor lad, it's an absolute disgrace. There's far more important stuff going on in the world than a tattoo on a man's leg. Let's be honest, they all took pictures after Manchester City won the title, and he had it on his leg then. Why wait until he's going to the World Cup to bring it up? Sterling is constantly slandered by the English media, and it's a disgrace. I don't like to touch on whether it's racial or anything, but I'll be honest the way the English media are targeting him is terrible. I don't want to tarnish anyone by bringing in the race issue, but I'm just going to be honest, it's a young black lad who the British media are trying to ruin. That's how it looks like from the outside looking and dot I don't think it is racial, because there's nothing that points to that. But one week they're whinging about him being on a £100,000 week, the next it's £200,000 a week, then he's driving a dirty car, it's a disgrace, leave the boy alone. What is he doing? The lad is enjoying his life. They asked what's a man on £200,000 a week doing in Primark? What's that got to do with anyone? So what, who cares? Leave the boy alone to live his life. He's not hurting anyone. If he wants to get a tattoo on his face he can, it's his forehead. It's his leg. He can do whatever he wants, that's the beauty of living in a free country. Let's look at what this lad does do. He pays millions upon millions of pounds in taxes a year to this country. He puts hundreds, if not thousands, of nurses, firemen, and policemen into work every year through the taxes he pays. The British media are a disgrace and things like this are the reason I don't buy newspapers anymore. He shouldn't even have to explain why he got that tattoo. It's got nothing to do with anyone, what he tattoos on his body. I feel for Sterling, I really do, and I don't even know him personally. I just see things in black and white. It's all personal, the English media have a problem with the boy. I only wish the best for everyone, because no one gives you a leg up for nothing in this country. Sterling has become a professional football who has worked hard. Anyone who thinks footballers don't work extremely hard is an idiot. I'll be cheering him on in the World Cup. Not that I have any hopes for England this summer. My hopes have been drowned too many times. I will just hope for the best and say very little. Farewell to the count. I had to support Aaron until last week, he's a fellow scouser like me. 
I like to believe all scassers want to back each other and support each other. It was a fantastic moment, it's brilliant the UFC has arrived in Liverpool. It was brilliant that it was Darren, a local lad, who got it off the ground and running. He beat the no.1 challenger in Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. I was just really happy for Darren to see him overcome the odds. The odds were against him. It feels a little bit like Darren has taken over after Michael Bisping retired. You're talking about the greatest fighters of all time on these shores in Michael Bisping. It's maybe too early to say we've seen a passing of the torch, but Darren is the first Brit to beat the no. One contender in the UFC since Bisping. But, there's so much more for Darren to do. And Bisping did everything there was to do in mixed martial arts. He's been a UFC champion, he's beaten legends like Anderson Silva, and he's been unbelievable. Without Bisping MMA in the UK would never have reached the heights it's at now. I hope till sells out Anfield. The sooner someone takes this good ice and park mantle off me the better. I can't wait for him to explode on the scene and he can deal with the day-to-day -day questions about selling out Anfield. It's great to see Scousers do well. Darren is a work in progress, and it can be challenging when you're considered the best. He'll have to learn to deal with that. As far as things are going for me, Eddie Hearn called me on Wednesday and we had a good catch-up. We spoke about what we think we should do, but I've got the small matter of a wedding to take place. If someone can tempt me with a big enough offer, we'll go from there. I'm open to offers.